I'll be doing this. Today I'll be showing you how to make crunchy, crispy, moist and soft on the inside, tasty olive bed recipe. Um, this recipe is for you if you live in a country where there's corona and groceries are finishing. Or if you're bored and you want to learn how to make bread. Or if you just like to watch videos then I got you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and... For this you'll need 3 cups of flour, 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 1 packet of olives, 200 grams, 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 packet of active dry yeast, and 2 tablespoons of maize flour for dusting. Here we have 3 cups of flour to which we're going to add some salt. This is 2 teaspoons of salt that we're adding into the flour for taste. Um, you can add as much salt as you want really, it depends on how salty you like your bread. And before we deal with that here, we have one and a half cups of warm water. Um, this is for the yeast. You don't want it to be too hot um, or too cold, lukewarm, like um, the temperature you'd use to bath a baby. And that we're going to add a full packet of active dry yeast. Next, we're just gonna whisk up to activate it to fasten the active process with the whisk, but you can use a spoon as well. I'm just gonna set it aside. doesn't stick to the bowl.
just know the flavor would be that. And you're gonna mix it until it doesn't stick to the side and it forms into its own little ball in the middle. And then that's when we're gonna dust it off onto our board. We're working our way into kneading, just ensuring it's all covered before we start kneading. I just knead with one hand. I don't know if you want to knead with two, you can. I'm kneading with one hand. If you want to knead with two, you can. I just don't want my other hands to also get dirty. Okay, since it's thickening, we're gonna add more flour. As you can see, the dough is not sticking to my hands, which is was the plan. We've been eating like this for about 10 minutes. This is what we we're looking for. And now when you're satisfied with your dough, and it looks like mine, <laughs> put this in the microwave off not switched on okay guys it's been about two and a half to three hours um, I realized with bread and the longer you let it rise the more intense the flavor will be you know that lovely flavor and the smell so I let mine rise for a few hours I think two to three two and a half minutes, just to be sure and here it is everything has doubled in size you can see all the air proper bubbles that we're gonna be punching out of it um, so yeah now we're gonna roll it onto our board yeah look how much is it there is in there it has risen really rose okay and we're just punching 
punching that out. Just to punch out. Take out all your anger. This is a time whoever you're angry at, this is a great, a great, you know, activity that you can use that's also safe. But you can just let out all your anger and your frustration. Are you mad that Cyril Ramaphosa extended the lockdown? If you are, punch the power to inside. Basically, what was the point of this? And then after you feel like you're you're fine, you're no longer mad. Um, <laughs> after doing this, because I'm not doing this for long. It's basically just to let out the air. Just playing with it a bit. After you've done that for long enough, about I don't know, three to five minutes, then we can shape it into our desired shape before we put it in for our second proofing. And our second proofing will be much shorter. It will be probably be for about half an hour, at least um, to an hour. Then we're gonna dust it with some corn flour. Dusting it with corn flour ensures that it's nice and crispy at the top. You don't have to do this, obviously. Um, but I'm doing this. This is for crunch. This is for crunch. even um, that's because I proofed it for longer and then I sprinkled a little bit of salt on it and this is like a little bit dough that I made into a small little cute little baby <laughs> bun and then I'm gonna put this in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes um, you just have to check on it and this is how you know that it's pretty easy there's a yeah so it has to go in the oven soon um, I'm gonna preheat the oven for 10 to 15 minutes, 200 degrees, so that the heat is already there and we can really start cooking our our bread, our lovely bread. I'm gonna put this in for 30 to 45 minutes and then we're gonna check on it and see. When you start to smell the flavors of the bread, that's when you know it's about to be ready or it is ready. And then I'll come back to you guys tomorrow morning. Yeah, convenient that our spray and cook is olive oil based, so. risen fully yet and it's already touching the sides and we don't want to limit our, our our dough we want to become as big as it can be so we are going to transfer it smaller pan to the bigger pan and I hope you're showing my face. Um, this actually looks better. I'm glad it transferred from the smaller pan to the bigger pan because we don't want to limit its success. We don't want to say no. We want to give it wings to fly. So we're just going to let this proof rise in a warm place. I'm going to put this in the oven but the oven's going to be off. Um, yeah and then when it's time I will switch on the oven. Pro tip for when you're baking bread or anything that you want to keep moist that has a tendency to get dry at times is for you to put in a dish a separate dish that has water in it. I just filled it with three inches of water 
um, it doesn't matter what temperature it is I just put in cold water and what this does is that it helps that the bread doesn't form a crust too early or that the crust doesn't become hard quickly before the bread is actually done which prevents the, the crust from burning or you know oh and also it helps to ensure that there's moisture in the bread that's the most important part to ensure that the bread is not too dried out as well so yeah let's get baking It was really delicious, it was really a success. Um, it was really soft on the inside, just as we wanted. It was moist, although it was crispy on the outside, it was still it still held its its structure, guys. It still stood and it was so nice and fluffy and airy on the inside because we let it proof rise for longer. I used this vegan butter spread, the delight one, and I also had this with some jam. The jam really helped to complement the olives. Um, it was really yummy. You could have this with anything. This is so good. You could even have it on its own because it's that delicious. Um, I had it with jam. The jam really helped to complement the olives and the saltiness. It was really Take yummy. Please let me know in the comments below if you try this recipe out, if you've made bread before, if you love it, how do you feel. And until next time, thank you for watching.